Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a repair tech here at Puget Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to service your neck. To get started, we're going to remove these four captive screws here. Now we're going to unclip the plastic. I'm just going to grab right here. One, two. And there's two clips on the bottom that will free that. From here, we're going to go ahead and slide the side panels off. So we're just going to take our hands, push, and remove. Now that the side panels are free, we're gonna access the primary M.2. That's gonna be on the rear of the chassis. There is a single screw that secures both the M.2 and the heat sink. I'm gonna do my best to pinch it from the sides like this. I'll pull straight down to free the pins from the socket. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the top panel so we can access both the GPU and the RAM. To do this, there's going to be some rounded parts of metal and we're just going to pull out and up. And this will swing from this hinge here. Now we're gonna go ahead and free the captive screw on this bracket here. Now we're gonna remove the power cables from the GPU. Once the GPU has been unplugged, you will remove the PCIe screws. There is a retention clip down in the bottom here. It is blue. Take our ejector tool, the little notch is gonna be here. It's gonna grab that and press it down. I'm going to lift up on the GPU as I do so. Okay. Once that is free, the GPU can come right out. Then, uh, in order to access the RAM modules, we'll need to remove this plastic baffle. And then there are two captive screws here. Here you can see the SODIMs. This one has two installed. To remove them, I'm just going to press down my clip. Slide it out. The same for the other. You have removed the SODIMs from the system. You'll see you have your additional M.2 locations here and here. Uh, now we're going to reassemble the system. So we'll begin by reinstalling the SODIMs. And just push it down very firmly, straight down until it clicks on both sides. As long as you're pushing straight down, you won't damage it, but it does take some force. Same thing here. I'm going to reattach the plastic shroud. And be cautious that I get this cable on the outside, otherwise it won't seat properly. Right back into place. The satisfying click. We will secure these screws. Being careful not to over tighten them because it can crack the plastic shrouding. Uh, now we're going to reinstall the baffle. Just make sure that there's, you get this little lip here in the hole so it fit, fits properly. And do the GPU now. Just have our cables out of the way. Try and line up the slot as best you can. Press straight down. You will hear a click as the retention clip locks back into place. From here, we will screw the GPU. You need to hold up on it to give it the angle you need to get the screws seated. You will flip up this metal bracket again. Secure the captive screw. We will go ahead and plug in our power. I'm gonna kind of hold these down in place with my fingers as I close this. Just keep everything tight. We'll hear it click. And we will reattach our side panels. You'll notice that one uh, panel has more bracketry on it than the other and is heavier. This is what's gonna go on the face of the chassis, whereas the lighter one is gonna go on the rear of the chassis. So. Line up our little fingers here with our holes. Should just slide and click. Not much force. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Finally, we will reattach our backplate. Start from the bottom. Kind of click it back on. Everything should click into place very nicely. And we will re-secure our captive screws. 
Now it is all back together and secured. Ready to go. We hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team if you have any other questions or concerns.